a growing city on the move, with an ever-expanding population that has more than tripled in 20 years. Yet, this is a parched land with fierce summers. What's more, this city and the wider United Arab Emirates have embraced sustainability. Our visionary leadership aims to make the UAE the best country and make Dubai the city with the lowest carbon footprint in the world. Key government strategies are helping define this path to sustainability. Dubai Electricity and Water Authority, or DIWA, is leading the drive to realize these goals in Dubai. It's achieving results through action in three main areas, supply, demand, and innovation and smart initiatives. To address supply, DIWA is diversifying its energy mix and improving the efficiency and output of existing capacity. This includes reducing reliance on gas-powered plants while upgrading existing plants and building significant new renewable energy supply. The 2,885 megawatt Jebel Ali M Station electricity and desalination plant is the UAE's largest. Through optimization and technology, it delivers an astounding thermal efficiency of 85.8%. The Dubai Clean Energy Strategy 2050 aims to provide 75% of Dubai's total power output from clean energy by 2050. The Dubai Carbon Abatement Strategy aims to reduce carbon emissions by 16% by 2021. To achieve these targets, we have many green programs and initiatives, including the Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum Solar Park, the largest single site solar park in the world, with a total capacity of 5,000 megawatt by 2030 and total investment of 50 billion dirhams when completed. The solar park will reduce 6.5 million tons of carbon emissions annually. One of DIWA's non-utility scale projects is Shams Dubai, an initiative to encourage government, businesses and homes to install solar PV on their buildings and connect these systems to the power grid. DIWA has even more innovative initiatives under development. The Green Hydrogen Pilot Project will produce hydrogen using solar PV generated electricity. The hydrogen then will be stored and deployed as fuel for power plants, fuel for transportations and other uses. The 250 megawatt hydroelectric power station in Hatta will use solar energy to pump water from Hatta Dam to an upper reservoir. When electricity is needed, water will flow down from the upper reservoir, powering a water turbine. Already, results are significant. The entire DIWA system installed capacity is 11,700 megawatts, of which 1,013 megawatts are from the Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum Solar Park. And additional 200 megawatts are produced from 6,000 solar systems, or photovoltaic installation, on houses and buildings. DIWA also produces 470 million imperial gallons of water a day. We have adopted the independent power producer model in the solar power projects and have achieved several world records in solar electricity prices through competitive bids that contribute to reduce its cost globally and attracted large investments to the UAE from the private sector and foreign banks. These supply-side successes are only one side of the equation. On the other is demand, an area where DIWA is making big changes. 